me actually talk about some fits from the Met Gala that I actually did enjoy. Um, let me get up on your screen. So Met Gala 2021 fits that I actually did like. Um, this is the Emma Chamberlain girl, right, YouTuber? She looks like she's about to go to sleep, so maybe not her. I thought Kiki looked very nice and very elegant. Um, I thought the dress suited her amazing. The fact that it dropped out at the back right above her kind of crack area was stupid. Um, the hair really matched it really well. She was giving me... She was giving me Tina Turner vibes, right? I don't know what cover it was on that LP where she's kind of like standing up and arms spread out, but that's kind of what it's giving me. But it is definitely very made, very American fashion, very Studio 54. Um, I loved everything about that. Let's get off the screen. It's going to take ages to load. I don't want it to load. Okay, let's not do loading. Let's get off the screen so I'll show you my favorite, my other favorites. Come on, please. If you don't mind, don't pause on me. If you don't mind, don't pause on me. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna work or not? I don't know. I see. Oof, it's not working, is it? Shall I go back? Okay, it's working now. It's working now, baby. One second. Come on. There we go. Is it working now? I think it's back. There we go. It's back. Okay, cool. Let's just not do it. Let's just zoom from afar. So zoom from afar. I think that was Normani, right? Yeah. Or is that? Or some sort of gymnast. I don't know who that is. I don't care. Let's look at the ones I actually liked. I like this guy's suit. Even though it was a bit weird looking, I like the fact that he came in with a suit that wasn't black. That was a nice little refresh. But again, no problem with the black suit because I saw Heron Preston and Tim, Tom Ford rocking an exquisitely tailored Tom Ford suit, which looked amazing on both guys. Um, Timothy Chamelet, I thought, looked pretty shit. Um, what did I like? Come on, move up and see what I liked. The Becks were okay. Um, you know, Less said about the Dan, Dan Levy, the better, even though I love his Rick Owen fits in the Shits Creek. This girl, what's her name again? Something M. Hoff, isn't she? Uh, Kamala Harris's stepdaughter. She looked pretty decent here. I thought this is probably the best she looked vis facially, right? She looked like she's had a shower, um, had a bit of a wash, you know, washed her hair, got her nails did. Like, she looks good. Like, all in all, in all. Like, let's not hate. She looks good there. Scroll up, the skater kid and Tom Brown. He looks like a bit of a freak. I'm not a fan of this. I'm a fan of this dress and outfit. I think looks completely superb. I don't know who the young lady is, but she looks really nice. Nice. Everyone looks nice, nice, nice. If you listen to this via audio. I please forgive me. Um, of course, Billy Eilish in this outfit was awesome. Maybe a tribute to Marilyn Manson. I'd assume it was. But again, what do I know? Boom, 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 boom. Um, that Osaka tennis lady. You know. No wonder she gets harassed online because the outfit is terrible. Uh, Lil Nas X, you know, last, the, the least said about him, the better. Just attention seeker and the outfit looks terrible. Um, there were some good ones. Like I said, yeah, I, I love this. This might have been one of my favorites. I've, I'm pretty sure this is a Rick Owens dress, right? Um, what's his name again? This is a, is it Toy Sivan? He's, like he's a singer. I'm pretty sure he's a singer or a pop act. This is a fairly good outfit when it comes to you know um going by the theme of american fashion i'm pretty sure it's head to toe rick and of course rick being one of the more prominent american fashion designers out there obviously maybe people will associate him more with paris seeing as he's running rick owens out from there and italy but in terms of maybe you know quintessential american fashion and also kind of harkening back to a time and you know the you know, the sensuality of the outfit this guy in this dress it fits amazing He's got the little leather belt there on the side of his arm, which I'm not really too sure what that deal is about, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of symbolism behind there. The jewelry is very tastefully done, and it's just a small necklace that's still glistening there. Nothing crazy on the ears, nothing crazy on the hands. He's got a ring. What is that wedding finger, whatever? Just a normal thing on a band. But yeah, I love the entire look. Again, you'd have to be very slivet in terms of your figure to make that work as a dude. But it's just in terms of, you know, again, harkening back to it being an American fashion theme and him wearing an American fashion designer was awesome. It was very interesting that there was no one there wearing Marc Jacobs. I think some people have made that point on social, but considering he's one of maybe the, he might be in the top 10, definitely in the top, he's definitely in the top 10. He might be in the top five in terms of um, the most important American fashion designers of all time. And the fact that he was, no one was wearing him was pretty weird, especially considering the people, some people had on Alexander Wang and stuff still. It's like, what? Um, we continue. Who else looked good? Um, what's her name? Kai Gerber. She looked very nice, I thought, um, in that black dress. I think harkening back to um, something to, I forgot what it was. We go, we go, we go. 
I thought this guy looked really good. He had like a jean jacket on with a white shirt and black kind of uh, platform boots with matching jeans as well. Obviously flared, but this is definitely a quintessential American attire, you know, white t-shirt, jeans, um, some boots. Again, it was a shame that we didn't see anybody in kind of a motorcycle um, influence kind of outfit, especially when you think of the Hells Angel, you think of Evil Knievel, um, you know, they got a strong legacy with all that kind of stuff. You'd think that would make a lot of sense, but that didn't happen. Not a lot of blue jeans. Um, what else? You know, not a lot of maybe khakis or new balance. I don't know, just kind of taking the theme and kind of playing around a bit, having a bit of fun. You didn't really see that from these people. Girl with a horse in front of her and shit. Um, we go on. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Oh, this is the Addison Ray girl. There's nothing, there's nothing more that represents kind of, you know, um, white privilege and you know the fact that some people just get lucky in life than as a ray because say what you want about that dixie d'amelio girl but you can tell there's something she's got an x factor right whether it's the way that she dances or how she talks and you know um to her fans or whatnot she's got something about her that you would you know be it would kind of it would kind of um help to explain to you why she has like you know more than a billion flipping followers on the tiktok or whatnot but when i see and hear anything with as ray especially when it comes to her music i'm like you're just garbage, isn't it? You, it's essentially like a rich people's make a wish, right? You've been able to kind of, without the terminal diseases, you've been able to basically wrangle your way into these weird circles of people and produce yourself a track just simply off the base that, off the back of that, you have a lot of disposable income. Do you know what I mean? It's insane. Or disposable income from your parents that you could spend. But, you know, I guess she's operating life and she's fine. Um, was it, what's her name again? Oh, I forgot her name. Tracy Turner is it Tracy is it Tracy something like that right um she looked incredible she was wearing uh Balenciaga couture which max which which matched matched completely with her bob which looked great um again don't know these people um this lady's an actress this is the Irina guy girl woman that Kanye was allegedly being linked to Madonna's daughter here doing the whole young people thing the girls love doing that and the young ones sticking their tongue out it's very kind of edgy but people are accusing her of having a couple of bumps before the Met Gala because she was aggressively wiping her nose and she was taking pictures on the red carpet I don't believe that maybe there was a lot of air con on her she's got hay fever it could be anything <laughs> um, we continue Obviously, the American football star, she had another kind of patriarchy-ish kind of message on her bag, which people seem to like. Fair play. I thought Maluma looked pretty terrible, but, you know, I just don't think you could dress. There's a lot of guys that are in it. Very attractive kind of male dudes who sing, dance, whatever, who just can't dance, who just can't, sorry, who just can't put themselves together in terms of outfit-wise. Frank Ocean was there debuting some new hair. Um, supposedly a 1.2 million or $2 million necklace and this new green toy thing that he speaks to when he's on the, you know, at an award show. Maybe it's one of those anxiety bears that we don't know about. I don't really too sure, but regardless, it's good to see him back. Um, we'll skip over these ones. Not that, not that. Don't care, don't care, don't care. But yeah, basically, I think I pointed out my points when it comes to the stuff that I liked and didn't like at the Met Gala. But, you know, again, waste of time for most people. Most people are still struggling to find jobs, to put food on the table, to put their kids through school during this tough time and to see all these rich people prancing around while all the help, every bit, yeah, all the help. Look at this picture at the behind Sierra. Everyone that's not a celebrity has to wear a mask and they're only like, what, less than five feet away from each other or more than that or less than 10 for sure. But they will have to wear a face mask. But the actual people in there who are being celebrated or lauded for the ability to pick a flipping T-shirt um, and put it on and go outside, they're the ones that are having all the fun. It's pretty, pretty nuts. But, you know, what can you do? We live in a nutty world. We live in a nutty world. <laughs>